Hello, beautiful humans. Welcome to my channel. I am Rofaraco, your mindset and manifestation coach. And in this video, I'm gonna yeah talk about a little bit of wounds, yeah, inner child wounds and projections. Um, I just spend the yeah a little bit of my afternoon with the couple that I recently met and I, I knew that something was going on there. I didn't know what, but now I know. I was kind of in the middle, no kind of, I was in the middle, yeah? Making things clear for these two people. They were projecting their inner child wounds into each other, yeah? and. What I'm gonna talk with you, this apply to anything, any kind of relationship, yeah? Um, it's the relationship that you have with others, it's the same relationship that you have with yourself. We normally blame people for why you didn't tell me this, uh, why you are maybe not telling me the truth because I'm feeling this and then things get really messed up. But know that the person that you have in front of you is a projection of you, yeah? We, as humans, how we function, yeah? We have been, like, we are in a sponge, yeah? When we are children, uh, we are this sponge, yeah? We are taking things from the outside world. If our parents in between zero and seven they didn't give us what we need that that was attention love food yeah taking care of us if they don't do that with us we are gonna walk our adult life trying to like fulfill our own cup with other people because nobody teach us how to fulfill our own, yeah? I have been, yeah, fulfilling my own cup uh, all this year and has been freaking successful. Has been amazing. Now I know who I am. Now I know what I like. Now I know what I don't like. Now I can say no to things that doesn't serve me. But this is the thing, I allow myself to have time and a space for me to actually be the person that I want to attract. I would love to have a partner, yes, but I knew that I need to heal my inner child wounds before going all in and saying to the universe, yes, I want a partner. I remember last year I was seeing this guy and the connection was incredible amazing we have fun yeah the sex was incredible and yeah but there was something that it didn't actually serve me what was it when i when i tried to express myself what i was feeling yeah because um yeah i wasn't i i was not really good still like into my communication skill because my inner child was feeling really unsafe so i was trying to explain to him how i, I was feeling and what i received from him was like boom, closer he get close and he reject me and what happened i thought there was something wrong with me that i was doing the things wrong but he, he this was like the beginning of my yeah deeply inner child healing i get really obsessed with inner child healing since i start addressing all this situation all these people that has been coming to me because that is a reflection of me all the people that come to your life is a reflection of you yeah if somebody trigger you it's because it's something on you that you need to address that you need to heal because what we do is like we move on. Yeah, no, this is okay. It's his fault. I don't like it. Like we don't take any responsibility. And what happened? Then 
the, you cannot break the cycle. Another person is going to embody that person in another situation, maybe in another country, it doesn't matter. Things will chase you. Yeah, not because there is something wrong with you. It's because you didn't address consciously why that person come to you. When uh, This is something that I talk about a lot in the masterclass. Yeah, I did a free masterclass that is Self Healers last week, uh, which was incredible, amazing. And I'm so glad to, yeah, to do this work because I know that I can help like so many of you. Yeah, and we... All are entrepreneurs, yeah, because we all have a sole purpose to fulfill. But when we cannot, yeah, dedicate time, energy and money into healing, not just like healing by yourself, I mean like paying somebody also to accelerate the process. Yeah, you don't have to be alone on this. Sometimes we feel alone, but because maybe in our mindset, I mean, uh, yeah, in, in the way we think, it's like, no, I need to figure it out about myself, but that doesn't have to be that way, yeah? Since I start last year, I spent 10K in myself, yeah, to heal my my womb space, yeah, my uh, menstrual cycle that uh, has been a game changer. For me, feeling comfortable in my own skin, having my cycle without any pain, crazy, like I don't have any pain. Actually, the masterclass was in full moon, super aligned, I didn't plan that. Uh, and I was having my bleeding and I was in my full power, you know, because now I know how is my energy and how I can move through that. So, yeah, what happened with this guy? I said, okay, I need, I need to heal this. I need to heal this communication because it's not that I I don't feel, yeah, I don't feel safe on this. But why I'm, I'm wanting to be with somebody where I don't feel safe? Because, yeah, this person was seeing other people. And I said, look, I don't feel good with this. And, yeah, he told me this before. But I, I didn't thought about that much until like it hit me really like deeply so i say all good but what i do uh, sorry what i did now i don't do that anymore uh, thank god i i push him really far away instead of still being like kind of friends because i have this pattern where if something doesn't work out for me i push people away yeah, um, you maybe can relate with this. If you do, please let me know here in the comment below. Because, yeah, this is my copy mechanism on what happened when I was a kid. When I couldn't talk, when I couldn't speak, nothing. What I do, I escape. I went so far away. I went to Italy <laughs> from Argentina and I went to live to Italy. So what I want to tell you is like, all the situation will chase you until you don't make conscious about that, what that, that means to you, you are not going to be able to heal. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we need to fill our own cup first, get to know us, who we are, what we love. When we are in overflow, when we our cup is fucking full, there we can give. Yeah, normally people overgive and give without having filled their own cup. Yeah, because nobody teaches us this. Yeah, um, but yeah, uh, somebody has to do it. Yeah, and if what I'm telling you, some some maybe this trigger you, that is okay because I'm not here to be, yeah, your best fee. Yeah, I'm here to help you to take responsibility because when we take fully responsibility of ourselves is when the things change yeah i was in the middle of of this couple and i hear him saying ah, you have this inner child wounds and this and that and blah 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 and then i hear that she told me before that he was shout shouting to her and i say maybe you are doing the same and you don't realize that you, you are just a freaking mirror from each other. And that's why you are here. Yeah. Um, so if you have any kind of situation like this, I suggest to, yeah, 
cut the cords now because you don't, are not solving anything the same with the same person. You are actually like delating your growth and that person, yeah, because you're not allowing them of taking responsibility. You are covering them. It's all unconscious, yeah, it's all unconscious. You are covering their, them to actually not take any responsibility because it's easier, because you feel good for yourself, but actually you are being selfish. That is not true love, yeah? True love is when two people have their cup really full and they can share their life together. And they can do things together and not together, but you are safe and secure with that person because you have really good grounds and the communication is good. You can communicate, you can... You can come from a place of love, not from a place of lack. Mostly we come from a place of lack, everything that we do. Yeah, that's why I love what I my work, like it's mindset and manifestation, because you, if you don't change your, yeah, your beliefs about who you are, um, you cannot reach that higher potential and tap with your higher self, yeah? So, yeah, this is my transmission for today. If you're interested in knowing and learning more about this, please sign in here uh, for my free masterclass that I talk a lot about inner child wounds. You have a meditation then after. And, yeah, I talk a lot about how we are actually like being the person that we are today and where this come from um so yeah any questions or anything know that you can reach me anytime i have my instagram that is i am ro faraco and my facebook too um and yeah another amazing masterclass is coming really soon that is activate your 5d frequency where uh, we, I'm going to talk about, yeah, what is a healing mindset and energetic, yeah, to embrace our higher self and make shit done, guys. It is crazy and amazing. I I have been training myself, but I didn't, I'm surprised of the results that I have. Uh, this week after an amazing workshop, uh, no, uh, event that I went, it was really transformational for me. Uh, I have been doing so many stuff. I did the masterclass, I deliver things, I'm creating content, sending the contrast for a school of life to other experts that are going to come and help me to, yeah, to build this incredible program that, yeah, this is my dream and we don't have to do it alone. That is the beautiful part, yeah. And if you feel alone right now, know that, that has to happen for a little bit of time until you find yourself and then you can attract whatever you want. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're not alone. I'm here. So reach out. Take care. And if you would love something specific that you want me to talk about in my next video, please let me know. So much love. Bye bye.